Hey, what's up? It's the Ikus. My cats are inside. Well, cats aren't inside, they're outside. They should be inside, but they aren't. And I'm still demotivated. That, that's, a, that's just what this, what my life is at the moment. And I'm downstairs because my cats are outside. So I'm just gonna make a pretty chill, chilled out video. Sorry for the lighting, but I guess that's what chilled out means. It basically means not breaking myself or my ring light by going down the stairs with it because my ring light's kind of wonky like the stand is and I just don't feel like taking it apart. I deeply apologize. <laughs> Anyways, so now now let's talk about my weird dreams because that is the most chillest topic you can talk about in a chill video. If you want to comment your weird dreams down below, go ahead. I love hearing about them. I have a lot of them. If you want me to keep making these, I will. I, I said that earlier when, when I made my first one for VidMe, but honestly, I think I might keep that promise this time because I have some really wacky dreams. Well, let's just get on with it, I guess. Does Epcot like have a theme song or something? So I had a dream last night and it was my first dreamception, so to say, you know, you have a dream and another dream. And usually this doesn't happen to me. So I was really confused. I was at this warehouse that sold burgers. Like it was, it was like a restaurant inside of a warehouse. Kind of remind me a mix of friendlies in a bar, if that makes sense. Or like just a place that, you know, would be at a beach but like huge, you know, that sells food. You know, it was like an open little warehouse thing. I hope that gave you enough to paint a picture in your mind. I think I like chilled inside and then I went outside. And then I met Laura Jane Grace. Then I, then I apologized to her because I'm very nervous around people. And she's like, dude, it's okay. I, I think that's all that happened. I don't really remember anything after that. I remember like all of us had um like lanyards and like some sort of pass. I really don't know what was going on, but I, I guess I saw lanyards. So basically after that <laughs> dream, I woke up in my dream, not in real life, in my dream still. And I'm like, dude, I have to analyze living Dead's dream. What does this mean? This has, this has meaning. I need to know what it means. <laughs> and basically after I was like, dude, I need to know what does this mean? I went to my job at like the smooth Epcot dome thing. And it was like my business and it was failing. This place, it was wacky. I have to explain this in detail because the stream was wacky as f Not even joking. Basically this place was like an Epcot dome. You can see each um like level when it comes to like, I guess floors. The lobby was in the center of it and basically like hallways on each level of the building kind of surrounded that lobby, if that makes sense. There was a lot of like 80s and 90s carpet in there. I don't know if it's because I was watching too much Defunct Land or I just have, I just have really weird dreams. The carpet was like blue and orange and this um, building didn't have elevators or stairs. It had ropes to each like place. The ropes kind of looked like colored um, pipe cleaners but they were stronger than pipe cleaners, obviously. Um, if if, so, if there's like ropes made of pipe cleaners going up to like the third floor, I'd freak out. Or any floor above that, or just any floor, okay? If there was a rope made out of pipe cleaners, it's it's useless. They, they just looked like pipe cleaners. They were very colorful. I remember, the last thing I remembered from this dream was climbing a rope that was white, yellow and pink and it led to a gift shop in the place this place was in office headquarters just want to throw that out there it, yeah this is this is kind of weird and then i woke up and i'm like what dream did I just have? Wait, I just had a dreamception. My personal interpretation of this dream is that I should either number one, buy an against me vinyl, or number two, I should make a video. I'm going with number two at the moment. I have seen such lawn furniture reviews. Yeah, that, that, that's about right. Let, let's talk about my second dream now, okay? Some backstory, I fall asleep to YouTuber side content sometimes. Um, sometimes they're actual content because I just need background noise. That's basically what happens and this person that I had a dream about was one of those people that like I just watched his videos like when I'm asleep just for background noise so that's what's up with that. Anyways I was watching Brutal Moose's like editing stream of his like newest Brutal Foods review. Not 
Uh, I'm, I'm 12, I'm sorry. What happened in this dream while I was like leaving that playing in the background was Ian himself was just, you know, chilling in a grocery store, being really pissed at reading lawn furniture reviews. It, it like translated perfectly. It's kind of sad. What happened was he was just like fed up with these lawn reviews. The manager went up to him and said, hey, you know, do you, do you want some, do you want some food reviews? He, he was pretty done. So it was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And basically, like, the manager's like, hey, I'm gonna have these kids perform musical food reviews for you. And he got really confused. Like, he was just like, what? I'm not, I don't want to be a part of this. You know, but he couldn't get out of the situation because he just didn't know how to tell the manager, like, no, thank you. I don't want to watch these random musicals by kids. I want to go home. He didn't really know how to tell the manager that. So basically they went into like, I guess the backyard of the place, so to say. And she got these like random kids. Uh, and basically like one of them was a teenager. He was like in his early teens. This is first person up. And basically started mumbling and ended up peeing himself. And I didn't know what this meant. I actually know what this means now. The Ian got really creeped out and it was like why are you why do i have to watch this he was just like dude like what's going on like <laughs> don't know but yeah so basically like that's what was going on in his mind like it was just like okay you know what y y you need to you need to clean yourself up and just not do musicals until you're like less anxious. And then basically a bunch of six year olds got stuck in a giant bag because they were going to review Oreos. And at this point, like, you know, the, the Ian trademark told the manager this was a really bad idea finally. And he went home. And then after that, I had dreamed someone Britney speared and like shaved all their hair off. So yeah, that was, uh, that was not Ian. That was somebody else. But yeah, what, what does that um, kid pissing himself mean? Well, basically 13 year olds, I guess meme the most, so to say. Like, I don't know, when I was 13, I was pretty hip with the memes. So I think that's what my mind translated, whatever the heck was going on here. There is a new meme going on on the Tumblr. You know, I am a normie these days because I'm an old man. But I went on the Tumblr today and they were talking about how telling someone to piss their pants meant kill yourself in a politer way. And that's why people are telling people to pee their pants, basically. So yeah, I predicted a meme. That That's what I'm saying here. Uh, it is the older generation of the internet witnessing the newer generation be weird as heck. Yep, that that is, um, that... That, that's my brain. I, I predict memes. Uh, b b blessed. Okay, so those are my dreams. I had some weirder ones for sure. These are my recent dreams of 2018. Damn. There's, I, I've been watching too much Defunct Land. I've been watching too much Brutal Moose. I should probably listen to Against Me again. Um, I should probably ma make a good hamburger. That's not a hamburger and I should probably stay off Tumblr. That, that's, uh, that's what I get from these dreams and I should probably make videos too. Yeah, so that, those are six lessons I've learned from my dreams of 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me about your weird dreams of 2018 or before. I would gladly read them and try and interpret them badly in the comments. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm really bad at dream interpretation, so I don't, don't, just, just don't ask me, okay? Just, just don't. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Maybe I will interpret dreams in the comments in another video. That, that would be a good video. It would be a weird video. That would be something, am I right? Mm. Just, just don't take them to heart if I do that. Peace out, hug a tree. You, you guys are lit, fam. <laughs>